Hey, guys, welcome back. It is time for another whatnot sketchiness. Like all of my videos, these are my opinion, my very insignificant opinion. So uh, take it all with a grain of salt, form your own opinions, and uh, I'm just going to let you know what I think, what I see, and uh, you can you can do the same. Welcome back. We got this uh, little button at the top here of the whatnot uh, page. I would suggest you never refer friends. Uh, maybe enemies. You might want to refer some enemies. But here we have it. Once again, we're playing uh, trust and safety. We're, we're pretending we are the trust and safety team at whatnot. And we're going to do our job. we got a little bit of a complaint going on. A little bit of sketchiness going on. Some sketchy clips that we're going to take a look at. I'm going to play those for you guys. But before we do, let's take a look at the profile in question. We got Mr. Yes, Mr. Ferrari. Sick. Sick name. Sick. Sick vehicles. Sick, very expensive, uh, and this individual uh, does a lot of single selling, which is awesome. I think that's probably the primary reason that you should be on the app if you're looking for deals on singles uh, and uh, know what you're looking for, know what you're paying for, uh, and you don't get tricked into FOMO buying something for way more than it's worth. You don't get pressured into it. You don't get some guy telling you that the comps are way higher than they actually are, that kind of thing, or just like, I guess, quoting one uh, if they want to really bag it up, quoting one eBay listing that's available, uh, ignoring all the sold listings, everything else. But that's not what we're here for today. We're here for Mr. Ferrari. Uh, we have somebody that is very obsessed with soccer uh, and Ferraris, apparently. Maybe both. Maybe mostly soccer. We're a soccer dude, We're a so which is weird. <clears throat> I get it. In Maybe in 2021, all the soccer dudes, all the sports dudes, th th does he know that they make sports cards? I'm not saying that you shouldn't do Pokemon if you like sports, but it's it's weird that you got a you got an Instagram that's linked in your profile on whatnot that is entirely soccer related. Oh, I guess there's a tattoo there as well. No surprise, no surprise. I'm only kidding, guys. You can have tattoos and not scam people. Now we got eBay, sweet another another for the uh, the old block the old block list. Uh, in my opinion, uh, I know I will be. I know if anyone else wants to follow my lead on blocking things, there's a nice little handy thing in the Discord. You might want to hop in there. You might want to be in there. If you're not already in there, join the Discord today. If you're watching this when it comes out, there will be an early happy hour every Saturday. We hang out. Uh, we uh, usually open packs, something of the sort. We've been playing uh, Scriblio, which is kind of like Pictionary. It's very fun. Talk Pokemon, open Pokemon, whatever you want to do. Open your own packs so that you don't end up having something weird going on. We, again, it's just like the socials are entirely like soccer related. I don't get it. I don't I don't get why. I guess if you just want to get a little bit of traction over on something else that you do, I get it. You can have multiple hobbies, but it's weird to have uh, all these like social medias that aren't Pokemon related if you want to be a Pokemon channel. Right? I get it. You want to, You can dabble. You can dabble in soccer, uh, but it's weird to, to link something that's completely unrelated. Now... I am going to play through the three clips here, uh, and then I'm going to go back through the clips, and I'm going to explain what I see, what uh, maybe maybe you guys missed. Uh, but I am going to give you the opportunity. Hopefully, I don't have to edit out too much of the audio. Uh, there is music playing. It's probably copyright. But so, yeah, there might have to be some edits. If I can, for some reason, X, Twitter, Twitter, whatever you want to call it, has been uh, not nice when I upload things, as I was usually uploading uh, the day after on all the videos, all the uh, the YouTube videos. Uh, but for some reason, it's throwing errors when I upload certain stuff. It's being a pain in the butt. Uh, but I will try to get back on that as well. Hopefully, it resolves itself. Hopefully, it's something on the Twitter end and and it's fixed at some point. But here it is, clip number one. So these are in chronological order. Uh, pack number one, fishy thing going on. Pack number two, fishy thing going on. And then, uh, not pack number clip number one clip number one fishy thing look for fishy things here clip number two look for more fishy things and then clip number three is going to be the pack opening which is also fishy spoiler alert let's watch would you like me to save the pack for you alka i got you all right give me one second chat chat let me get a giveaway up in the meantime guys let me get a giveaway up in the meantime, chat. First edition. First edition fossil wrapper. First edition fossil wrapper. Yeah, I got you. 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 Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I didn't, I didn't open it or anything. I didn't open it or anything. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to uh I'm just trying to get a giveaway up. Give me one second, chat. 
Let me get a giveaway. We got a lot of people in here. A lot more people than I expected. Would you All right, that was clip number one. So to keep in mind, this is going to happen after clip number one. Um, pretty soon after clip number one. Let's see what happens afterwards. Surely no more shenanigans are going on. I am going to go back through these and show you guys what I saw, what happened here. But let's watch all three. One second, chat. It's just a little, it's a little rough right now. I got you. We're about to open this pack right now. I'm trying to get a giveaway up, chat. Sorry. Sorry that it's taking a little while, guys. All right, one second, guys. I'm getting this giveaway up. One knot's been taking so long, bro. I don't know what it is with the giveaways, bro, but like, I try and set up a giveaway, man. I can't see my screen. It's bad, bro. All right, word. All right, once we get chat, if we get if we get 30 people in here, if we get 30 people in here, I'll do a giveaway. 30 people, and I'll do a giveaway for sure. All right, Alka, I got you, Alka. Here we go. We're we are ripping. We are ripping a heart a heart gold soul silver unleashed pack right here. Alka, good luck. One second, chat. All right, that was clip number two. So it, it, did you see it? Did you see what went on there? If not, don't worry, don't worry. I got you. We're gonna watch clip number three, and then we're gonna go back through. I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna explain what's going on here. What I see is going on. We are ripping a heart a heart gold soul silver unleashed pack right here alka good luck to you chat can we get some fire in the chat guys i'm gonna try and uh i'm gonna try and open this very delicately also so that way i salvage this pack for you so that way you get the pack artwork i'm gonna make sure that i don't ruin it there we go there we go the crimp rimped yeah the crimp rip rimped the crimp ripped very nicely there we go. Ripping very, very, very nicely for you. So that way I can save you that pack artwork, homie. I don't even know the I don't even know the pack trick on this. I don't even know the pack trick on this, so we're not even gonna do a pack trick. If anyone knows the pack trick on it, let me know. If anyone knows the pack trick, let me know. There you go. You have Horkles. We are ripping a Sweet. All right, let's go through here. We got some shenanigans afoot. Maybe we'll mute it. No, no, we're going, we're going audio. We're going audio. We got to listen to it. I'm going to talk over it. Uh, but here we go. Back to clip number one. Here's clip number one. We have the heart like gold, the for you, soul silver. You can always like turn them down a little bit. So we got the got heart you. gold, right. soul silver, off screen, chat. off screen. Let me get a up in the meantime, Why are we doing it? Why are we doing this? Why are we taking it off screen? Giveaway up in the meantime, chat. First edition. First Let's edition talk about something Fossil else rapper. while it's off screen. Distraction. Edition, distraction. Fossil rapper. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. And it's back. Sorry about that. But what the hell is going on here? It's back, but it looks, it's the same pack artwork. So we took notes from Sneeze scams where she would put the wrong pack back on the screen even the wrong artwork uh it is the raiku where at least it's the raiku but look at the wrinkles on this boy that is not the same pack not to mention wrinkles probably a bad sign that somebody was trying to push the cards out of the pack out of one end of the pack uh which is going to lend to what we're going to look at later on a little bit of the details on the opening end of things on video number three but we took we took it off screen I mean, that's a big no-no you have lots of room there put it over top of these bad boys if you need to if you need to put it somewhere I don't know exactly, we're not sure, again, we don't know exactly what went on here, but it looks like we have a pack swap on this customer, uh, and then also, it, it looks a whole lot like this was repacked to begin with, so uh, can we say that maybe he got duped, maybe he digging, well, you don't get duped by like, do you just have another Raikou pack sitting on the side there that you can grab? Again, like, what, what's the what's the purpose of this? You, you took it off screen. You put this one on screen, the wrinkly boy that looks like somebody was pushing on the pack, trying to push from the bottom, push them at the top kind of thing uh, in order to preserve the pack. But, I mean, they, they wrinkle-dogged it in the, in the process. Sorry about that. I didn't, I didn't open it or anything. We'll look at close-ups later, comparisons. Anything. You didn't open it or anything. You swapped it. Is that anything? Does that count as anything? 
That is not the same pack. We're gonna look. Don't worry. We got. We got. We got diagrams. We're gonna look at what the the first pack was. I'm just trying to. What this I'm pack was. To, uh, I'm just trying to get a giveaway up. Give me one second, chat. Let me get a giveaway up. We got a lot of people in here. A lot more people than I expected. Honestly. So we're concerned about the giveaway distraction technique again. There's no reason for it to go off screen. There's no reason to, for it to come back, and there's definitely no reason for it to come back as a different pack. Now the, the wrinkles weren't on the front there. Would this have been easier or harder? It would have been definitely harder to, to catch. But all the crimps, all the little details that we're going to look at here, every single little, little thing, little detail here on the pack is going to lend us to, we can prove that, that it is not the same pack, that you swapped them out. Now, uh, second clip here, uh, if you guys didn't notice, we got a second swamp. Yes, it's bad enough that you swapped it once. Now, this would be nice, whatnot, if you could get off your wiener butt ass and at least provide the feature that we can rewatch this with the chat. Apparently, uh, the the buyer, Alcal147, uh, was telling him to keep stuff on screen. Would love to see that as the video goes through and see what people are saying to see if if he's reacting to that. Would it would be perfect, please, for the love of God, whatnot. Implement that. Again, your trust and safety, they might not care. They might not need it. They might be able to see that stuff on the back end. We can't. Your your better trust and safety team uh, that was comprised of me and the me and the boys in the chat um, showing them the clips here. Uh, it was kinda it was kinda like a we had we had our own little trust and safety team. But we'll we'll take a look at that in a second here. Clip number two. So we have Wrinkle Dog, Wrinkle Dog Pack. Yes, he is a legendary Wrinkle Dog. Um, this is the one that was swapped in. One second, chat. It's just a little, it's a little rough right now. We gotta blame whatnot. I got you. We're about to open. We'll this turn this down right a little now. bit. Don't worry, guys. We got just give just give me a second. Distraction, distraction. We gotta to complain. Away, chat. Sorry, sorry that's taking a little while, guys. I know what you guys are saying. Isn't he really giving away a wrapper, a first edition fossil wrapper? Yes, he is. One second, guys. I'm getting this giveaway up. One knot's been taking so long, bro. I don't know what it is with the giveaways, bro, but like, I try and set up a giveaway, man. I so we've seen this before where Snee kind of did the same thing. She was like, oh, wait, did you guess the energy yet? I can't see on my screen. I can't see. I can't see, guys. I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, and then we got the... See my screen. Wait for Bad, it. Bro. The swoop is coming. It's coming. All right, we're Anytime now. So there it is. Get, Grab it. Chat, if we get, get that thing off screen. Get, get it off screen. If we get 30 people in here, I'll do a giveaway. 30 people and I'll do a giveaway yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. Right, oh, Alka, and she Alka, back. Alka. But, wait, 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 wait. She back without wrinkles. So you swapped back to the original pack. What? Why? What? Surely you're not, you're not just doing this for fun. You think people aren't going to notice? That people aren't going to catch on to this shit? If this guy's selling packs all the time... Is this another instance where you just got a blanket refund to everyone? Well, I mean, I guess they didn't blanket refund everyone with Blake. They, you know, they they just kind of made it difficult to get refunds. Uh, made some statements about how they were doing the right thing. Didn't really do the right thing. Said they refunded everyone that was affected, but they didn't yet. Uh, so that the stupid news journalists, all that other crap, would just say, "Oh yeah, what not? Totally fixed it." Well, they didn't totally fix it. They're still they're still refunding people. We got to get more into that in the near future but what the hell is this like there's no there's no reason for this this should be automatic ban if i was whatnot this would be automatic ban i'm not whatnot i can't do what they want to do i can't tell them what to do um, but in my opinion when you have somebody that's swapping stuff out this is intentional you don't accidentally swap that twice that doesn't happen now do do you accidentally get a resealed pack is is that possible yes do you maybe not notice that it's resealed Maybe, but we we can we can give the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it didn't happen before. Maybe it isn't with all the packs. Maybe he's not doing that with everything. Maybe it's not 2023, and it's not very difficult to make money selling packs and or stuff on whatnot when you gotta pay 13% fees, uh, unless you're Blake or someone else that gets a super super duper treatment. If you don't have Craig exchanging hand jobs with you 24/7, then what do you do? Yeah, yeah, you turn to a life of crime. Alka, I got you, Alka. Here we go. We're we are ripping. So we get a we get a good look at the uh, the pack itself. A, a hard gold soul silver unleashed pack. It does have a little bit of a wrinkle to it, but not even close to the one that he swapped to and right then swapped here. back. Alka, good luck. One second, chat. 
So we got the double swap, and then here is where the, the pack itself gets opened, and, and the, the issue with the pack itself getting opened um, is... We are ripping a... I, I think the pack is also resealed. So I don't know what the purpose was for the swamp. The swamp is clearly, like, an intentional one. Um, now you're going to say, hey, maybe Mr. Ferrari, he's too busy playing soccer. He can't identify the fact that the, the pack is, is, is sealed. He can't, he doesn't understand that you can't swap packs out on whatnot. You can't bring stuff off screen, but let's watch how he opens this bad boy. We're ripping a heart, a heart goal soul silver unleashed pack right here. Alka, good luck to you. Chat, can we get some fire in the chat, guys? I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try and open this very delicately also, so that way I salvage this pack for you. So that way. So like, look how hard he pulls on the bottom here. Like he's got to really yank on her. Make sure that I don't ruin it. There we go. There we go. The crimp rimmed. Yeah. The crimp rip rim. No, no, no. Okay, so pulled real hard on the bottom to just even get the flap apart. Now watch how watch how easily this bad boy opens. This is concerning. So we're gonna take a little bit of a, a closer look at the, the crimp itself. Again, if this if this is not sealed properly, if it's resealed, typically it's gonna open very easily. That's what I think we saw here. What we're seeing here. Very nicely. Aaron. Like that's that thing. Like he barely even touched that thing, and it just friggin' popped open. There we go. Ripping very, very, very nicely for you. So that way I can save you that pack artwork, homie. I don't even know the. I don't even know the pack trick on this. I don't even know the pack trick on this, so we're not even going to do a pack trick. If anyone knows the pack trick on it, let me know. If anyone knows the pack trick, let me know. There you go. You have Horkles. So if anyone has seen anything similar to this, if this is like a trend, if this is like something's going on here that it looks like this, that it's been like this, please let me know. If you were buying from a Mr. Ferrari and you had a similar experience, if you have something that you want me to take a look at, then by all means, and do grab those clips. Uh, again, if it's older, you might have to grab them yourself because, you know, WhatNot doesn't want everyone to see every clip because that would be too, too easy, too easy. Uh, but essentially, we have what looks like a resealed on the top pack. Uh, we have a pack swap that got swapped back to the original pack. Not even sure. Like, uh, there, it doesn't seem like there was enough time to actually repack the pack, if, if, if that makes sense. Uh, weird that you would swap to it, swap away from it. Uh, again, was that because the chat? Was that because Al Cal said keep it on screen and you were like, oh shit, I better bring it back to the original pack? Maybe knows which ones have hollows in them? I don't. I, heavy light? Again, if it's just a loose pack here, you would think that he probably has a pretty good idea of whether it's a heavy pack or a light pack. Uh, but the whole thing is, is repacked, in my opinion. Uh, whether it was by him or someone else, I, I care less about that and more about the fact that there was a blatant swamp arena that happened. Now, we got the three different packs here. I'm going to have to, you know, you guys are going to have to not look at my cute face and my sick, nasty rattle hat that you can order right now. Again, very expensive. Doesn't support me very much, if at all, financially. Uh, but if you do want one, I am making them available. You can order um, by the end of the weekend. And then if you, if you do, if you sign up for that, uh, then I'll send you a payment request over the next week. Get that in. You can probably send in a squeaky last minute um, sign up. But again, I can't, uh, can't promise anything. Deadlines. Deadlines are deadlines, but they're kind of soft deadlines. But the order deadline is definitely, that's going to be the Sunday after. All right. Now. The three packs in question. Now, um, concerning, very concerning here is the fact that when when the pack is opening on the inside up through uh, where the crimp is a little bit, this crimp should hold pretty good, as we saw uh, with the the bottom crimp. So the thing is, we got we got three different pictures here. So this is the first pack that he had. Uh, this is the wrinkle boy, the back side of the wrinkle boy. Uh, and this third one is when he swaps back. So um, it's my belief that pack number one and pack number three are the same. We're going to take a look at those details. Hold on, let's uh, let's zoom in. We got we need the scientific zoom in. Uh, so you see on the bottom here, we have some very distinct features on this bad boy. And it's a good thing that whatnot is at least on video, uh, and that there is the capability of clipping things. Uh, but you can see on the bottom here, this is going to be our primary focus here because we got three bars. Uh, and then we get a little, a little, little, little start of a bar. It's kind of going off. It's got this nice swoop to it. 
uh, and that's our, are going to be our identifying feature. Now, if we go over this pack number two that we're looking at, it's not there. So not only is the front side of this thing, and we got we got some wrinkles on the back side too that are not present on the other one. Uh, the first one, the first pack before it got swapped out to here, number number two, Wrinkle Dog Supreme. Uh, we have we're not, we don't have that on the bottom. Uh, not to mention, we can see on the top as well. Again, these are pressed in like a certain way. Again, there's no glue on this, guys. There's no, they don't use glue to, to, re, to seal the packs. This is all done by heat and it's stamped in. Now that top seal is looking real sketch. Uh, oftentimes if people try to iron down the, the top side, uh, then it will, it'll flatten out. You're going to flatten out the crimps. So we got to look out for flattened crimps, uh, but also they can just crimp it uh, or heat seal it somewhere that isn't the crimps. Uh, which is why I'm saying that it's pretty sketch that we have here where the pack is kind of protruding up into the crimp where it should be crimped and nice and tight and nice and sealed. We're, we're not getting that right there. Now, does that does that mean like that it's a guaranteed resealed? No, but everything that we've seen on this bad boy leads me to believe that there's some shenanigans going on. So pack number two doesn't match pack number one. Again, we got this very distinct bottom bottom flappy flappy lines which are very nice very identifiable uh, so we can't just pretend that the, the wrinkles came and went as he took it off screen the second time uh, and then you see here when he brings the pack back he brings back the original pack uh, and this has the one two three swoops with the one little baby swoop that's not a complete swoop and it does have the the same top as the original pack so that's why i'm saying uh, that we went from pack one to pack two with the first swap and then we swap back to pack number one which is the two other ones they're both the same cool got it you on the same page guys you see what's going on here we had a double swap what was the purpose for the double swap not entirely sure uh, could it have been if it was like a box or something like that? He could have extra packs to the side uh, and he could be weighing them. Maybe he wanted to get a certain price for this pack because it had a hollow in it. We're going to take a look at what was in the pack as well. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're not going to skip that part. We are back on the screen now that we have done our investigation here. Uh, so we see here, uh, this is with the with the boys. We had eggplant. I had PK in there. PK, the awesome, super duper reseal expert. Uh, and uh, most people fooled by PK's reseals. Not me, though. I, kn I know too much. I know. Again, we have the very sketchy corner here where it's kind of coming up. Uh, but also, we got some weird flattened stuff going on here. All right, so that screenshot was from Eggplant. This one as well. Uh, you can see here when he barely even touches the thing, it is, it is flopping open. Uh, PK uh, did note here, uh, and it wasn't something that I was looking for. Uh, but typically on the ends of your, of your flaps here on the top... Um, there's a nice little hoop. There's a nice little holes on the uh, on the top side of the packs. So on each end, there'd be like a pin size hole, um, not hole, but like where the top of the wrapper isn't completely sealed all the way to the very edge. So we don't have that here. That is very concerning uh, that that is missing. The fact that this opened like a butter, also very concerning. You saw how hard he had to pull on the bottom side there. Uh, and then here we have a dope who noticed the fact that uh, the cards inside were not, they didn't lay in there flush, which is, I mean, could it happen that some of the cards are poking out? Sure. Um, but usually they're, they're all pretty stuck together unless you purposely fan them out. And it's weird that there's one in the middle that's sticking up, uh, unless it was just kind of like a lazy, lazy reseal. It is possible that one's sticking out and that's why you get crimps and stuff like that. But uh, it, I think where we're already looking at this stuff, where it already has enough suspicious stuff going on with it, uh, that there's two cards sticking out is... Uh, doesn't help doesn't help his case in any way now let's take a look at the the cards in question here uh we're, what we're looking for here is damage because if someone's going to reseal this bad boy they are going to put cards in it you got to put cards in it right you need to have undaunted cards and an undaunted pack otherwise people are going to ask questions but what's weird here is yes and and from the pack you can have damage but typically the damage is not the same as damage from like sliding around on the table not the same as like getting dirt in between a couple cards and rubbing around. They're in a sealed pack. There shouldn't be dirt in there. Uh, so when we start seeing scratches, yes, you can have scratches. Usually they're lines, uh, like roller lines, or there'll be like scratches all in one direction of something that if it's like the sheet gets pushed, it gets pushed in one direction and maybe it leaves a scratch, something like that. Dust and dirt that's in the factory. Uh, but typically you don't have like a lot of back and forth kind of scratches and stuff going on. Now, uh, example number two here, we got a little bit of a bent corner. Is that because maybe it was sticking up? Maybe because it wasn't pushed down with the other cards properly in the pack? Again, we'll see. Uh, again, a lot of the like dirt and dust should be pretty standard across the board. Uh, yes, you can have some bad cuts on the corner, stuff like that. 
Uh, but we're going to get into what looks the worst to me, in my opinion. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the video. Uh, but if you look here, we have, okay, yes, your hollow can have scratches. And usually the scratches will all be in the same direction, that kind of thing. Uh, if there was a scratch on the hollow foil, again, from whether they're shoving the sheets along, whether it's the, when, when they're getting pushed along. But the fact that we have a swoop here, that we have all kinds of swoops here, uh, and we'll get into, we got, we got some lines here, we got lines here. When you have all kinds of scratches going in all different directions, usually an indication that that is not a pack fresh card. Uh, in my experience, here we got some, we got another little swoop, little little scratch there, uh, and yes, uh, you can have scratches straight out of the pack. But what I'm seeing is the fact that these are probably planted. Again, did he open the packs? Did someone open the packs? Uh, didn't whoever? That that's why you got to be very careful with where your packs come from. What's going on here? This is not normal. This is not normal damage for a pack fresh card. Usually, you're not going to have scratches in all different directions like that. That is that is very concerning. Here we go. We got a better little example here. So like, this looks like it was a card that was not sleeved, that it, it aged. It's an old card, so it's probably been in. Maybe you get one like this on Troll and Toad. Maybe you get one on TCG Player. Uh, but this this doesn't look pack fresh to me. I know people like to use pack fresh, and they're like, oh yeah, I hate people that say pack fresh. Well, this is th there's a different type of damage that you can receive typically from the pack straight out of the pack to the type of damage that you can receive from an old card that's been you know stored with dirt that's been played around with probably wasn't sleeved probably rubbed around with some other cards you know a little bit of playground a little bit of playground dirt uh and here this is like a dirt in the sleeve kind of like moved back and forth kind of thing and or against other cards and some dirt in between typically not out of a pack you're not seeing that kind of scratches scratchy scratches back and forth now, yes, the hollow. There's a lot of hollow on here. It is very easy to scratch, but again, this is this doesn't look like it came out of a pack. Uh, we have the reverse. So the pack had double octillery, double octillery hits. Um, very convenient, very awesome. Uh, the reverse is looking pretty clean. I mean, it's it's got some scratches on it, and yes, this again, once again, looks more like something that you would find as like a near mint copy from a you know a, a TCG player or Troll and Toad. Um, some scratches there. By the way, guys, if you're not, uh, when you're when you're buying on Troll and Toad, when you're buying copies like this, instead of opening packs or having someone open packs for you, uh, you can you can use code Rattle Five for five percent off. Help support the channel. We'll have to do some like mail day videos uh, once we get up and rolling here. We got a few. We got some cool stuff planned here. But again, we got. I get these can have scratches. They can have print lines. Usually the lines will be in the same direction. Even the modern stuff that's been printed and it looks like absolute dog crap. Usually all the lines are in the same direction. Like it got shoved across. A sheet got shoved across in a certain direction. Scratched up the, the stuff. Not like different scratches in all different directions. And then you get these little like little scratchy smudges. Uh, which are typical of, again, it's cards that were not sleeved. Uh, and you don't... You, you, I mean, yes, is it possible that we got some scratches back and forth and stuff? Sure. Straight of the pack? Probably not. Again, we're going with likely scenarios here. and We're going with uh, all the information that we have at hand. And everything that I'm seeing uh, is a pretty good indicator of the fact that uh, we got we got a reseal. And we got p cards that were swapped out. Um, again, this could have been from whoever he got the pack from. I kind of doubt it. I think he should have been a little bit suspicious when the thing opened the way that it opened. Uh, and then, uh, not to mention the fact that the dude friggin' took it off screen, swapped it with another pack, and then swapped it back to the original pack. That, like, that in itself is the, uh, I think, the, the 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 biggest piece here that we're looking at. Uh, the fact that we got, okay, here's the commons and uncommons. Um, and again, could they have come like this with some scuffy wuffies on them? Sure. Is it weird that they do, but the other cards don't? Typically, the stuff that's in in the pack is going to have the same type of damage. It's going to be some of the same print run. Yes, it's going to be different sheets for the commons and uncommons. Uh, I have seen a lot of cards that are like this, uh, typically a second hand, not necessarily straight from the pack. Uh, but uh, just everything here lends to uh, the fact that this this bad boy was resealed. So now we have the pack itself, and we can see here we want to make sure that the customer received the actual pack that was opened uh, and not some other pack. Uh, so we have this nice little part here that pulled apart, uh, that left the, the foil onto this foil. 
uh, which is convenient. Uh, the the customer is also a little bit concerned about the fact that there's like a, a sticky line here. Uh, I believe this more to be the the I guess bonding agent or whatever that is used to like combine or like stick the layers together uh, more than an actual reseal. Um, again, the the way that the pack is sealed itself is going to be this kind of like little bumpy, the bumpy dudes. They're going to be heat applied to the bumps. The bumps touch the other plastic. The plastic is hot. It bonds to the other piece of plastic and voila. So I, I think this is just uh, something that is just like an oopsie doopsie uh, from the factory where there's a layer that's supposed to be like, if, if you pull apart the foil and the artwork kind of layers on a pack, you, you there is like a stickiness in between. And there's a lot of people that mistake that for being resealed. I'm more concerned with the fact that I think the top was resealed, uh, that it was heat sealed and it was probably just heat sealed on the top like edge or below above or below uh, the crimps. Now you can see some of the crimps here are looking a little flattened. That's not a good sign. We don't want to see that. That is uh, that's a no, no. You want to stay away from that. Uh, but again, if somebody seals on the top or the bottom of the crimp, uh, you can usually just press on the side of the of the pack and see if the crimp is not the thing holding it together, uh, then you're in for a bad time. Uh, something bad happened here. Uh, and uh, I think that's what what went on in this instance. Regardless, guys, be careful. Be careful if you have anything else like this that needs needs a looking at, uh, especially if it's from our boy Ferrari Baller sixty nine. I shouldn't say that because there's probably somebody called Ferrari Baller sixty nine, Mister Ferrari. Uh, if he would like to explain what's going on there, why he swapped that pack out twice, uh, why it looks like in the pack that he did open was a very resealed. I you're welcome to uh, to chat with me if you'd like. All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in again. Friends don't let friends whatnot. I don't know why anyone is buying stuff on the platform. Uh, hopefully they, oh, I mean, they, no, they kind of dropped the ball. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I can't say that they're going to like, they're going to do better. They're going to, they're going to fix their, fix their system. They're going to start getting rid of people that are scamming people because they're still there. There's still a lot of people there that uh, we've shown. We've shown plenty of evidence that they're ripping people off and they're still on the platform. So if if whatnot's not going to look after your best interest, the the customer, you're the most important. The customer is the most important. And does it take everyone just leaving the platform before they decide like, hey, maybe we should look after our customers. Maybe we should vet our sellers. We got to make sure that they're not scamming anyone. If they're caught scamming anyone, they're off the platform for good. I don't know how that isn't a rule and regulation. It should be super strict. It's just like, I, I don't understand it. If you, if you had a store and you have employees at your store, whether they're on contract, whether they're your actual employees, whatever it is, if they're pickpocketing your customers that are coming in the store to buy stuff, are you going to fire them? Are you going to get rid of them? Do you want those in the store? Or does the store get a reputation for, hey, I love the, I love the buns that they sell in this store. Those cinnamon buns are delicious. But... Every time I leave, I, all the change is pulled out of my pockets. What What the hell? Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Happy Saturday. Come on into the Discord. Be in there. Be in there soon. Hanging out. Uh, there's an event uh, planned. Uh, if, you, if you check out the events on the top left, uh, there's pre-orders up right now for PSA Pikachu. But there's also the happy hour chat today. Come on in if you haven't been. It's a good time uh, for all. See you. See you there. Bye.